follow your own advice, Megan, and shut the hell up. Just like you were trying to shush other children in a very loud environment with the airplanes above. You were trying to shush children while everybody else is yelling, shouting, the planes are passing. You're trying to shush children in a home that's not yours. And they also are not your children's. And you know what? Follow your cat, your bloody advice. And shh, shut the hell up, Megan. These are all my thoughts and opinions based on information out in the public domain. Please do your own research. And this is for fun, entertainment, information, sharing of information, and having a platform to vent. First off, let me start with something amazing. I loved it. I mean, I loved, I loved that Her Majesty the Queen came out alone in the box. Well, not alone, but it was on her own with the Duke of Kent. It was all about her. That was fantastic. I assumed that she couldn't be on her own due to her mobility issues. So it made sense to be with somebody and also because she is a lady, you know. And the Duke of Kent was standing in for Prince Philip. You, can you imagine if Prince Philip had been alive? Oh my God, that would have been so awesome if he could have made it until you know the Jubilee. Makes me kind of sad. But anyways, I'm sure he was watching from heaven. So anyways, um, the queen, oh my God, she was so beautiful. And the boss lady with the boss baby, oh, Prince Louis, he, he literally stole the show. Not quite, because he had, a, you know, he couldn't steal it completely from Her Majesty the Queen. She was just so beautiful, so beautiful. And the Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William with Prince George. They were gorgeous, gorgeous. And today at the Mass, you know, for the Queen, uh, did you see the Duchess of Cambridge? <laughs> what a gorgeous woman. What a gorgeous woman. Ah, she's really beautiful. I mean, she really is beautiful. But um, it's so funny, you know, um, among all of this, among all of this, that Harry and Meghan are trying to make it about themselves. They're trying to make it, Meghan should follow her own advice. You know, the, when she was shushing children in somebody else's home and there were other people's children, how would she feel somebody shushing her own kids in somebody else's house? She probably wouldn't like it if she had any children. But she should follow that advice that she's giving to these children. Shh, and keep her mouth shut. Lilibet has met Lilibet. Lilibet has done this. Meghan Markle is back in the fold. They're among other senior royals. Where were the other The other senior royals were sitting way the hell on the other side from Meghan Markle. In my very humble opinion, they should have come in the bus with the other ro minor royals. But I guess the other minor royals didn't want to have them around because it's kind of awkward to have them around. Also because of Netflix things. Um, so yeah, Meghan, she should follow her own advice of shushing people. She should shut the hell up. Because the headlines, everything, everything. I mean... She goes near a window to shush children, and so do Harry. The children looked at them. I, did you see the kids' expressions, CD? Did you see the kids' expressions on their faces? It's like, who are you again? What are you doing here? Uh, you know, so they got close. She got close to the window, CD. So she got close to the window so she could be photographed, and so did Harry. I'm sure they had Netflix cameras all over the place, you know, trying to get a picture of her. And then, not content with that, because she's terrified. Let's not forget that they're both terrified. Of, they're both terrified of London because it's so dangerous. She lowers the windows in the um, in the in the bulletproof car, so people can see her because she, they couldn't see her because I think the windows were tinted, you know. Can somebody please explain that to me? And she's like, and the male and son is like, the Duchess beamed. Meghan Markle wanted to be seen. That should be the proper headline. A terrified, Meg terrified of London, Meghan Markle, uh, lower a bulletproof window because she wanted to be photographed. That's what the headline should have been. Headline should have been. Not, oh, the beaming Duchess lowers the window. 
I mean, in the Daily Mail, they're putting out really, really bad information. How Meghan was sitting among the other senior royals. She was not. The proper senior royals were on the other side. And they were booed. There were some people who cheered uh, because they have sugars, but they were booed mostly. Um, if you look at the difference between the Duchess of Cambridge and the proper royals and Harry and Meghan coming in, you will find that... Mm, those loud, those bells, you know that the bells, many people don't know why the bells are rung when, when people are, are coming. That's to <laughs> ward off evil spirits. But apparently it's not working because Meghan Markle and Harry managed to be there. And did you see Harry's face? Did you see Harry's face snickering contempt? I understand that Her Majesty the Queen wanted to have her family. But had I been her, I would have sent them in the bus with the other royals. I understand, you know, I understand maybe she doesn't want to impose that kind of pain to the, with the other royals. But let's not forget that Harry and Meghan Markle have made, have slandered and lied about an institution. Uh, and they haven't apologized to anybody for that matter. Not that an apology would do the trick. In another set of news, Omid Scobie, Mr. Markle supposedly suffered a stroke and here we have Omid Scobie tweeting that and let's not okay he's not mentioning Mr. Markle by name but we all get it right just like when Amber Heard or Amber Turd wrote that wrote that open and it turns out that she also plagiarized it um about Johnny Depp even though she didn't mention him by name so what's his name has mentioned uh, has written a few tweets saying when abusive relatives and all kinds of things. So now, while Mr. Markle has had a stroke, he cannot speak, so he has, he literally has no voice. Omid Scobie is taken to Twitter to call him abusive and other stuff. So here we have the start of Meghan Markle's really nasty narrative towards her father. Remember how I told you that the worst for Mr. Markle is yet to come? Yes, city, I can see you. Dios mío, mi lindo, miren. Yes, the worst for Mr. Markle is no. yet to come. <laughs> now, now no. that he's lost his voice, literally. No. Sorry. Then he has Omid Scobie attacking him and naming abusive relatives and stuff like that. Because the abuse narrative from Meghan Markle, it's coming towards Mr. Markle. So, uh, remember how I told you about that? I've been telling you that the worst for Mr. Markle is yet to come. It is. And again, Meghan uses her minions to do her dirty work, city, because she's not content with the fact this woman is not gonna stop until she kills her father. So she can put out that narrative. It is my very humble opinion, and these are all my thoughts and opinions that she really wants Mr. Markle to move on from this earth so she can put out her narrative. But now Omid has started with that. And Omid is making impl implications or implying things which actually are, you know, are not true and he would need to substantiate that. The fact that Mr. Markle is calling out Meghan Markle, that's not abuse. That it's called calling out a liar and a slanderer. That's what, what he's doing. He's calling her out. That's not abuse. Abuse is what Megan is doing and has done and continues to do to other people. Oh, little bit, man, another little bit. I bet you there was a picture of Megan Markle that I, that I posted at the beginning where she's at the window looking at the balcony. I bet you that she would give anything to be in that balcony. They did not allow her the money shot. They didn't. So what do you guys think? Do you think that she's back in the fold like the Daily Mail is pushing for? I don't think so at all. She sat all the way away from the senior royals. Nobody wants to have anything to do with her. Um, and to me, it was just disgustingly rude. And that I know many people have criticized me because I said that her hat is hideous. And, and you know, in the, in the Tribune of Color, it was hideous. She looks like a witch. She looks like the witch she is, you know. And Omid Scobie and Meghan Markle, I really do believe that they're next to be sued and a lot of consequences suffered. They're not back in default. I know that many of you were disheartened by that. Um, Harry's really angry that, you know, 
that he was not sat among the other royals. You can see him walking into the church, how angry he was, and Megan grinning like the idiot he, she is. Because this woman really has no class. It's, it's, I mean, it, it's quite scary. You know, it's quite scary. And she's done so much stuff to her face, you don't even know. You, you don't even, city. <laughs> you don't even recognize her anymore. Did you hear that? Do you hear, City? <coughs> yes, City. I also don't like Meghan Markle. I understand that perfectly, sweetie. <coughs> so, anyways, what do you guys think? But it's amazing. Megan, follow your own advice. Shh. Shh. Shush, Megan. Shush. Shush, Harry. Follow your own advice.